During tumultuous times, what can we trust? As our common pursuit and lifestyle rises in popularity, we find it reduced to short snippets of advertising, spectacular injuries, and predictably irrelevant jargon. When our senses of fear and guilt are played upon and co-opted by governments, corporations, and resort developers, who is to be believed? Fortunately, the universe itself provides a stable foundation of constant laws that allow us to both tread and jib. The first three may seem far removed, but be patient. A strong nuclear force and the combined electroweak force give us matter, radiation, Sean White's three sets of teeth and his gold medal. Gravity is the fourth of the major forces, and while harder to quantify, it does provide the atmospheric field in which we can enjoy falling snow, the exhilaration of a fully tucked run ahead of an avalanche, and the inevitable smackdown when you ragged all over that cliff. While dealing with foundational physics, I would be remiss to not mention our friend inertia. Inertia is related to mass and is not fully understood. It can be thought of as an object's behavior and how it resists change in its states of motion. Newton was a brilliant freak, and his three laws of motion describe both the arc of a huge half-pipe puck and the Earth's orbit around the sun. The first, every object in a state of uniform motion tends to remain in that state of motion unless a uniform force is applied to it. The second deals loosely with acceleration, and third, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. These are some of the only laws I have not seen a fellow writer break. Finally, with the physics, the second law of thermodynamics is in some ways the ultimate law to which we are subject. The second law says time runs from the past to the future, never in reverse. The things fall apart, and the center indeed cannot hold no matter how hard it tries. You can now blame the second law for the binding that snaps as you drop into the chute, the board that delaminates at 60 miles per hour, overdrawn bank accounts, failed relationships, and vice presidential hunting excursions. Many lesser physical constants make our lives both delightful and unbearable. On Earth, water exists in three states, liquid, solid, and gas. It boils at 212 Fahrenheit and freezes at 32 Fahrenheit. Our atmosphere transports vast amounts of water vapor from the oceans and dumps it as weighty paste or tasty powder. Our world doesn't get cold enough to precipitate carbon dioxide or nitrogen as it does on Mars and Triton and Planet X. And, if global warming accelerates, we may have to head elsewhere to find ice and snow outside of large indoor riding facilities in Dubai and Tokyo. Have you ever noticed that most slopes of this material are inclined at similar angles? Similar? No. Exactly? Yes. In our 1G gravity field, the natural angle of repose is 35 degrees, no more, no less. That means any loose material on a slope exceeding 35 degrees is primed for failure, something we all fear in the form of an avalanche. Should gravity increase, the angle of repose would decrease, and if gravity faded, the repose angle would increase. Take a few minutes, as I'm sure you can put your finger on lots of constants that influence and control us. Work with and obey the ones that matter. Constantly question the ones that don't.